Hey, everybody. Hello. How is everybody? Tell me. I got some good mojo going on. Look it. Nice color, right? Nice color. Mood ring. So, where's everybody? You know, oh, I... Who's the first one? We're waiting. I don't know. I'm waiting. Jane. Jane. Jane Barber's in the, the house. You win hey, the prize. Hey, Holly. Holly. Close. Very first, close, Holly. First runner-up, Holly. <laughs> and Amy. 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 Amy, how are you? Second runner-up. How is everybody doing? And Denise. Wow, luck. Hey, how are you guys? We've got a bunch Let's of people. Let's go to... Hey, hey, David. David. David, just in a couple of days. I was going to ask you if yes, you've seen him yes. yet. Yes, Friday. Hey, Liz. Elizabeth Hill. Happy Wednesday to Hi, you. Hi, Liz. Also, I hope everyone is doing really well and... Staying healthy. Amberine. What a pretty name. Am Amberine. And Jessica. Oh, and look who's here. Ro Roko. <laughs> Roko's in the house. <laughs> hey, Karen, Karen. Karen, I'm so excited about April. I was doing a class last night, so I didn't text you back. I know Elix did, but I'm really, really excited. So uh, Terry is going to be, I'm sure, very happy. I was so excited. I almost ate my mother. Is that something you say? You almost ate your mother? Yeah, something like that. That's not the the, the saying. Like it's I'm so hungry. Oh, my mother gave birth to nothing. <laughs> this is so oh. many issues here. How was hey, Lisa, with this hey, picture? Hey, Denise and Tina and Heidi. Yes, it is. It's a really pretty name, Amberin, if I'm saying that right. St. So. Croix. Hello there. We're well. Um, What's up with the coronavirus craziness? I know. I know. It we, is we're, craziness. We're, we're wondering the same thing. Yeah. You know, for us, because um, my immune system, since I've been diagnosed with Wegner's, has been always compromised since uh, 2008. I'm just very used to washing my hands and not touching and being cautious. So this is to me, it's like, you know, common second nature. Yeah, I mean, you got you to be take you know many many precautions now, um, especially older people. Uh, Ellie, when you come back to rights soon, Ellie, you have to ask that question. It's it's you know we go just a couple of weeks and we're back. You know we get um, who's Ellie? Um, yeah. Oh, but is she from rights? Well, if Ellie's if Ellie's asking when we're coming back to rights, where is she from? I don't know. Mars? Have I met you, Ellie? Ellie, help help him. Please help him. Ellie, I don't know. I, you know. I'm sorry. I don't know. She's mean... from the gift shop. Oh, Ellie from the gift shop. Oh, that's what you need to say. Ellie from the gift shop. Of course, we're going to be there very soon. Yes. Hey, I Karen. miss chicken and I miss the fries more than anything else. What, what is that? Hi, mo Karen. Mo motion. Moshot, Motion, what a, what a nice, cool name. Um, where are you from? Klan, Most, or Khan. Tell me, Motion, am I saying that right? Where are you motion, from? Motion, Mosin. Mosin. Motion. Oh my God, that's like Roku, Roku. Hey, I blame Spirit, all right? I know. Elix and Steven is. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, I don't know Lisa. where you. Lisa, I don't know where you got oh, that from. Oh, Lisa, I have you no idea. Where you, you don't got even that know. I I should keep a journal during the week of the things he doesn't say, hey, and Karen. then just share with you guys. You guys would be hysterical if I ever. What share number with do you. we call to get a reading on the radio? So five zero eight two 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 thirteen twenty. I'll add it. So I I'll think Felix is going to do a little a pinning. So, um, like he did for me years ago. Didn't you, <laughs> didn't you pin me? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> I, uh, this, I came this close for a snort. I don't know if you maybe heard it. Snort came very close. Zero. Zero, baby. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, um, Pakistan. Wow. How wild is that? Look at Mina. Pakistan. That is so wild. That's awesome. So how do we pronounce it? Is it Mosin? I know it's not motion, like Stephen just said. So just help us pronounce it well. Uh, we're very sticky with that stuff. There's no reason to reiterate that I'm not correct. There's really no reason for well, it. Well, so. I'm not reiterating. you have an elevator it. at your office? Yeah. You know, David, well, we don't. 
outside. No, yeah. you know, that's the one thing that um, I'm not thrilled about because I'm on second floor and there is not an elevator. It's it's just, it's not, um, you know, handicap friendly. My old office did, but this one doesn't, you know, so it, it really stinks. Um, hey, Marissa. So listen, let me just tell everybody that Sunday I have my event. That is at 2 o'clock at the Saugus Everett, Everett Elks. And you know what? You know what? Uh-oh. You come to the event. You know what you may get? This. This. You may get this. Open it so people can see it. Oh, my God. Can someone take him? I, I, well, will you give me a chance? Yeah, I, I have not I'm even... Here, I'm here to guide you through this process. I'm, you know what, listen, I'm giving away a cheap Puerto Rican, so any offers will be uh, considered and most likely accepted. And if you want to do like a cost sharing and just, you know, maybe keep the Puerto Rican one day, one week, one house, move them to another house, it doesn't matter to me. Because I'm not high maintenance I'm, I'm, at all. I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm easy I'm going. Done. So, look, see, I know this is probably going to come out backwards, right? Doesn't probably, it usually? yeah. But this is what I do. A note from Spirit. This here was the the picture of what looks like Jesus. And when I was just realizing I was a medium, or I was told I was a medium, we were in Puerto Rico and I was meditating and I read this book. It was the first book. I didn't know like what to do or where to go. So I read this book and this book said to close your eyes, sort of do like a little meditation and ask for your spirit guide to appear. And I was on this balcony in Puerto Rico. I asked, I opened my eyes and in the cloud was this. And I know it loses a little bit, um, you know, with being transferred onto something. But as you can see, it looks like. Jesus with his arms out and I ran into the room and I, I grabbed my phone and I took a picture and thought, you know what, on my cards and so much of, you know, um, whatever I'm using, I have to use this. So how cool is that? But this is what I do. There's the, the back of it and I transcribe messages from your loved ones and put them in a note, which has been so incredibly received. And I've actually even did them, or have done them recently on Evite. I actually have done a reading, and prior to the reading, I do this. So this is all filled out, and I do an Evite and send it at the beginning of the reading. And then at the end of the reading, I tell the person that they can open the email or the Evite there, you know, when I'm doing like a Zoom reading, or, you know, later on. So, and it has been incredibly received. So, and it's really... It's exciting, you know, when I do Zoom readings or smaller readings, I record them so that you, you, you know, I email the recordings to everybody. However, um, there's a little bit of a difference than getting the recording and getting something like this. That is, say you lost, lost your mom and this note actually is from your mom and the writing is from your mom. It's just, it's transcribed by me, but it's dictated by your loved one. So... How cool is that? And so Sunday, I will be handing some of these out to some lucky people. So that's me. That's the note. That's what I'm all about. And, and talking I about lucky it. people, I see there's a lot of you who would take me. Some people will take me forever. Oh and God. some people think that I am the most darling thing. David, I don't know who you think is priceless, me or Steven. Um, of course, me. Hello, me. Okay. David. Uh, you know, but, you want a good reading, David? Say Steven. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, guys. I will come gladly, too. I'm very low maintenance. I just require good food. That's all. Well, listen, require good food. You're the one that's going to be cooking. He, he's an incredible Well, chef. if somebody takes me. No, I mean, they're taking you because they know how well you cook. Okay. They're not stupid. They're like, come here and cook for me, right? Mm, that's so, good, that's true. <laughs> so who who else keep, is here? Keep trying, Tina. That's what happens. You know, just stay tuned. Uh, a lot of calls are already coming through, and uh, just wait for the you know when somebody hangs up and just try again, and hopefully um, you know you'll get through. 
Do, do oh, you get, very good, do you, Marie says. Liz, if you, we take Elix, do you get a free reading? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Liz, I, you get, you get, I cannot you control get free that. advice, Liz. That's what you I, get, free advice. I cannot advice. control yeah. that, Liz. You know what the advice is? Make sure you take him out before you go to bed so he does his business. You know, stuff like that. That's the free reading. So. Gidget. Unfortunately, I do not do any of the housework. That's one thing he does, you oh, know. Well, I, I, and he does because oh, he's Lord, responsible. Lord, Lord. <laughs> Let's just make sure for our cleaning lady being fired. So he does all the housework. Not um, just one. I've gone through many of them. Many of them. Yeah. We've done. We've gone through this story before. <laughs> Lisa, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's five oh one, Lisa. Thank you because I think he's <laughs> Mark said five past. We got to get over there. So, and as an update for the cameras in there, I, I have no idea what the hell is going on. It just it Hopefully. keeps getting delayed and delayed and delayed, and I've heard nothing about it. And it's it's very very frustrating for me because I just it's it would be so nice. For all of you guys, and I know that, to be able to tune into Facebook Live, you know, and actually see the studio, see all of the studio, because there's three cameras, and hear the callers, too. And I know on Facebook Live, you can't necessarily hear them, so, um, so you know. So, one thing, if you're on hold, um, don't tell us what you want here, because Steven doesn't want to know anything, okay? No. You know, he misses a lot of this, because I'm the one who keeps track of the chat. Wait a minute, Melissa, I would like to hear something from my mother-in-law. Um, Melissa, when you just said that, I just heard cancer. I don't know how that's connected, if that's connected to her. Um, as soon as I read that, uh, you should try to call Melissa or tell me what the cancer is. Um, okay, Stephen, you are we, welcome we to only... come to my house. Yay, Gidget wants me. G yeah, because you're the house cleaner. That's what, you know, she makes sure she he asks who cleans. So she's a wise gal? That's right. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, Gidget, I am like great dressing women too. So I, I, I'm a huge, I'm a whole package, right? Hey, Dave, Richard Telly's in the house. How are Hi, you? Hi, Dave. And L'Oreal's um, here. I think so, we gotta go. So we right? have to go. So we're gonna head over. Um, can you grab it? Because I'm still getting to get. Uh, we are going into the studio. Here's the Puerto Rican. <laughs> Which, by the way, hold on. I had my three month appointment. Oh. And I have been fully discharged. All my restrictions have been lifted. So I'm getting back. Slowly, but getting back. Liz, of course I'm not cheap. If you want me to come, you know, I just, as long as there's maybe some Chardonnay and some, some bonbons. Uh, and we would catch up. I wouldn't be cleaning. This we, one, <laughs> not cheap. We Nothing. would be catching up on stuff, Liz years since i've seen you, you very know? high maintenance just bring jen expensive. over and we'll be we'll be good so all right so let me get how long do we have two minutes yeah oopsie there's mark producing hold on this was quick <laughs> See what Corona has done? Clean, clean, clean. I think I have like a minute before, uh, right? Right? Yep. Look, you people asked if I clean. Look. Thirty seconds. Why am I always late? Tell me. Because you like to talk. Okay, we're good. I think. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Are there calls? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Phone's tied up, baby. I hear my music, so that means showtime.
Good afternoon and welcome to Through the Static. This is Stephen the Medium and I am joined by Coach Elix. Coach Elix is in the house and of course Mark producing the show. So I hope everyone's having a great day. You know, I still get very excited when I hear that music. It's just, I know it's the introduction. I love the song. That's why I picked it. A lot of love. But just hearing it, knowing that we get to do a show is really great and terrific. So, but I hope everybody's doing well in washing their hands and being safe with the coronavirus. It's um, something that um, Elix was just talking on Facebook that it's sort of something that the two of us have done always anyway, just keeping our hands washed because of the flu in this particular season and, you know, and just being very mindful. So I think that's what you have to do, right? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, for me, like I said to the people on Facebook Live is ever since I got diagnosed with Wegner's in 2008, uh, my immune system was compromised, um, you know, because of the treatment and the mm -hmm. medication. So I had to learn to make sure that I wash hands, that I, you know, I was not uh, aware of my surroundings, aware of people around me. Um, so for me, this comes as second nature. I've always, you know, I'm addicted to washing my hands constant, constantly and, um, you know, using sanitizer, which by the way, I'm very proud that I made my own. He did. So he it is true. You can, if you have aloe and alcohol, I mean, the scent is a preference. I don't need a scent because I actually just like the alcohol and the aloe. But the alcohol has to be a certain percent, right? Uh, yeah, I use the 91%, mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's got to be over 60%. Uh, but if you mix the two, it's two to one, you end up with a uh, hand sanitizer. And Stephen can attest that I made it and it works and yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah, so. yeah. It's, it actually, you know, it, it, it feels exactly like the regular disinfectant, yeah. which is, is pretty wild. It's pretty crazy. So I, I can And I can understand the hand sanitizer thing. I cannot understand the toilet paper thing. I don't, I, I don't even want to go to there. But I was going to say, you know, anybody who knows us, even close friends and people that if they're sick, they automatically know not to come to our house if we're doing dinner or, a, or a, an event, right? Well, they are, <laughs> let me just put the Facebook Live here so people can see what I'm saying, I'm about to say. They automatically know because they'll automatically get a phone call from Steven saying, No, an email. Or an email or anything, a text. But they already know, they're trained to know that they'll get an immediate notification from Steven that if you show up sick, I'm sending you home. So he threatens people. So they, they don't come to our house if they're sick or suspected to be sick at any time. But he's protecting me and exactly. my well-being. And again, we've been doing this since 2008 uh, because of my diagnosis. And by the way, I'm doing great. Um, I've been on remission. Uh, this is my second uh about a remission, remission yeah, yeah, and like I'm it's, doing it's, really, it's really well. It's been several, so, several years. Thank you for all the love on Facebook Live. I see all the hearts. Keep, hey, listen, keep, keep them coming. And tell everybody about your um, appointment. Oh, yesterday. so the other thing is that I had my three month follow up yesterday at Mass General Hospital. For what? For my back surgery. I had a laminectomy with uh, fusion. Um, and um, spinal fusion, and that's no joke of a, of a surgery. It's really, really complex. And uh, three months are critical because that's what, the, what it takes for bone to heal. And uh, I was expecting to hear that I was doing okay and that I'm going to have to, the next three months are going to be critical, blah, blah, blah. And instead, what I heard is you're doing amazing. Your bone has healed beautifully. And I am restricting all, I'm lifting all the restrictions. So... I don't have any restrictions. I've been given to go ahead to go back and start exercising and start building my muscle and my strength again. Of course, I, I'm still sore, so I, I can't just go back and, you know, do CrossFit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, you know, I have to take it slowly, but I'm really, really, really excited that I am discharged. That's amazing. It's After three months. But I, I took it very serious. You know, I I really, the the first three months, I did nothing. I didn't go to the gym. That's, that's I didn't do of me. anything. Yes, Stephen, oh my God, Stephen was like, you know, 
having my mother. Well, in, my, in this case, I had my mother and Stephen <laughs> both at my house. So let, let, know, let's, let's, let's be real. Like, you went through it, but really the one that really had to go through a lot of distress was me. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. He's yeah. super was, dramatic. Was... You would think that he had the surgery and not me. <laughs> he actually at some point even said to me, the things she put me through, okay, <laughs> as if, you know, I hadn't just gone through major back surgery, okay, just saying. So those of you who want to take him, you're welcome to take him anytime, all right? Thank you. Okay, so let tough. me, let me pass was, this on to Steve. It was now. tough. It was, it was, I almost needed medication to get through it. But before I forget, I want to give a big shout out to someone I love, LB, Laurie Beth Campo, who is listening and Laurie Beth and I have been friends forever. I met Laurie Beth through her brother, um, uh, Bobby, who we met several years ago. And unfortunately, he passed away in 2006 from a brain tumor. And it is, honestly, it's a loss that I feel like daily because we were so connected. But the positive that came out of that was getting to be very close to his sister, LB. Unfortunately, she's in Florida, so I don't get to see her a lot, but she just texted me and we go back and forth and I miss her and love her so much. So I know she said she was gonna be listening, so she better, because I'm gonna test her, and if not, she's banned forever if she, if she didn't get this. So, so <laughs> no, seriously, I I'm, I'm just wanted to give a nice reach out to. Um, how long do we have? Mocky Mock. Oh, about... Three minutes or something. Oh, I get can, so much time. Can I throw something in? Of, of yes, course. you can. It's kind of funny. I took it kind of funny. I was with my mom Monday at a uh, Italian restaurant here in town mm -hmm. having lunch. And we're talking and having an enjoyable lunch. And I sneezed. My uh, allergies bother me awful with this weather right. going back and forth. I sneezed, and about 15 people gave me, like, the dirtiest look. <laughs> did, well, know? did you sneeze into your elbow? Yes, I did. Oh, and you're a good I boy. And tissues. You're a good boy, then. And I felt like saying, you want to take my temperature? <laughs> or, you know, I don't mean to make light of it, no. but... Um, well, you know what? It's that, the that unknown. That may come, so you know, <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's it really it's the, it's the unknown, and that's what you know. It scares people sometimes. I, you know, it's just not knowing where this is going. If it's gonna, you know, and I, I'm sure it's going to slow down and, and reverse, just like it did in China. But let's just cross our fingers and you know be positive. And but but that's that was the point that I want to make. What does not help is to go into feeding to the the, the hysteria. Right. You know, you need to keep moving, you need to stay positive, you need to take precautions, but just, you know, don't feed into like the, oh my God, because that doesn't help anyone. No, and you can't stop living either. Correct. You know, you, you just can't. I mean, you just, you've got to, you got to be smart, you got to take precautions, but you can't stop living. And um, I have uh, a break now, so 508-222-1320, we're going to take a break. When I come back, I will take Call, so we'll be right back. And we'll be right back. I don't know if, um, uh, hey, Bernie. Bernie! I don't know if the, I can't remember her name, if she answered me, try at the end of the show, um, about her mother in law and, um, the cancer. I don't know what that was about. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to to find it because oh, maybe she didn't even Google answer me. Um, hey, Christy, look how cool everyone's saying. Great news, great news. Thank you, I love everyone. It. I love it. Um, yeah, three months already, Jessica. I know it goes by so fast. Um, I don't. I don't see. And this is the other thing that. Hey, Minx. It's very important. The more water you drink. And Vivian, how are you? Even if you get a job, Alberta. The Alberta, how are you? And Crystal, down I'm, to your um, stomach and have, you know, have I don't see. Yeah. Um, so they say drink a lot of water. I don't see I already the anyway. response. Yeah, I, I can't remember. Angela! Hey, Angela. Um, somebody had just. 
information. Someone just um, someone had asked me when we were doing Facebook Live about her mother-in-law, I think, and um, as soon as she said that. I just got cancer, and I, I was hoping that she was going to answer me, and, and I can't find that she did. So, um, Marissa, I had a fusion. Marissa, you had a fusion too? Wow. Uh, no, like when there's five or ten minutes left. I'm, I'm out of the loop in this conversation. And it's five or ten, maybe talking about the show. But I do hope that everybody is staying very safe in um, doing what they need to do. So, so. Uh, they're frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you have these two conversations going on? So good for you. I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. So, yeah. so good. And if, you, Melissa, if you're near them after you finish the coconut water, they oh, was it you, Melissa? It open for you, that said that. Uh, and then you can eat. I the, think it uh, was you, the pulse Melissa. What was was was, was did she I, have cancer? I even go back. What was that? Well, well, I gotta go back on. Um, tell me. Of course, I'm not gonna be. My show's coming back on, so I've got to get back on. Oh, it's gonna be dead ear. Hi, lovey. <laughs> I love it. I'm just going to pretend that was for me, Melissa. And welcome back to Through the Static. You know, I almost didn't say anything. I was looking at Facebook Live. I can't do too many things at once, you know, especially when spirit, <laughs> spirit's here. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Just saying. When you're right, you're right. Okay. That's all I got to say. You know, on Facebook Live, I did. I, I made an offer that anybody that wants to take Elix, and, and I would be willing to accept even cost sharing. Um, see, oh, Moxen, even Mark will take me. Moxen, see, they, I am you know, a, I'm a precious gift to anyone who are? takes me. Yes. You are? Okay. I have a lot of people on Facebook, and we can go back and review who's who. And, uh, you know, all of you who said yes Yes to me. Yeah, good luck. You, you'll get, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll manage some, you know, family and friends discounts here. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Where All are right, you let's, going? Let, I, you got to start working here. There's people online waiting. I am. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Phone call. Hi, who's this? Hello? Hello, who's this? Hey, Denise, how are you? I'm doing well. And listen, thank you for being my first caller. Um, Denise, the, 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 a dog, dog just came in. I looked out the window and there was a dog walking on the street. So there's a dog connected to you. Did you grow up with dogs? Um, there, there's like, um, a, a, you know, when, when it's kind of cool, Denise, when, when animals come through, um, and this dog is, is crossed. Um, they give me letters, and the letters are either their names or the, the, their breed, like the name of the breed. So at first I got a C and then I got a B. So was there, do you remember an animal name, either named a B or a C, or the breed was like a collie or a, um, I don't know what would be a, a B. The B is a name. B, B is like boxer or... or, or uh, just keep it with you, Denise. If it and it could actually be. What is it? Uh, oh my God! What? Are you serious? There's the B and the C. Wow, Denise. Her name was Bonnie Clay. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my God. Well, Denise, you got to know that Bonnie Clay is with you all the time and, and she is, is is never going anywhere and it's it's when animals are first before people now you can imagine denise everyone that you've lost right that they're so anxious and they're so excited that they get to talk to you and for bonnie clay to push them and get first bonnie clay just you know is making a statement so just giving you a, a beautiful I lo I'm not surprised, you know, I'm not surprised at all. But, you know, um, uh, Bonnie Clay just also just keeps thanking you and thanking you and thanking you. So it's just it's a it's a nice way. Um, there's something, Denise, with the chest area. I don't know if this is heart or this is like um, lungs, but it, it makes me it, um, 
Did someone connected to you have some issues going on there before they crossed or is is somebody here that's connected to you have issues? I I feel like I'm all like fluids are, 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 are like in my chest or like a pneumonia or I don't know what this is. Nothing you, just, just Denise, keep it, make sure you keep it. Is your father crossed? Um, you don't know? Well, we don't answer. Okay, just, I was going to say, don't even answer it. It's just, it's just that a, 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 a dad figure just stepped forward and, um, is, is here and he's, you know, he's, he's, his expression is, um, it's different. It's just, his, like, I see, I see tears. He talks, Denise, about the, the birthday or the anniversary that's right around. Something's coming up really close connected to you so make sure you is there are there three of you what's the three he's giving me are there, you have like are there three siblings or two siblings now i have three siblings that are right so there's three of you yeah stick with me denise baby that's what your dad's giving is that there's three three of his kids or three kids still here it's just a way that your father is just giving that that as a as a um a validation denise your father also said that it, it's um it almost makes me feel like you're you wouldn't feel like he would be first after the dog to come through but for whatever reason i i i can't really control that. He just wants to let you know that he's here and just keeps putting his his hands. When when spirit puts their hands on their chest, it just means that it's um, uh, taking accountability or responsibility. So. Oh, okay. So maybe it is him. Um, and, oh, so your grandfather raised you. Do you remember Denise? The pneumonia. What? Why? He keeps giving me because I can feel fluids everywhere, and I I feel like um like I'm having issues breathing. There's something either sometimes even Denise. It's like a it could be a memory. It could be like maybe you or some one of you know a, a sibling that was young and and had like a very difficult time with lungs or pneumonia. But there's a reason why. <laughs> Denise, I love you. You know, I, the great thing is, is that if this is your grandpa and, and it's, it's a validation and what spirit does all the time is they validate um, what we've experienced, us that are still living, to show you that, that he knows about what's going on with you and that you know it's him. That's what it's all about. And, and if you've had pneumonia a lot of times, it's most likely why he's bringing it up and to say that anytime you've got pneumonia, he's there to make sure that you're okay. There's another D name besides Denise. Who's the other D? I keep getting, is there a Don or David or Dan? Who's the, or is there a last name or middle name? Why does he give me the other D connected to you? Well, just keep it with you, Denise, um, because there's got to be a reason why. There's also a teacher. I see the alphabet. When I see the alphabet. Who taught or taught something or teaches? Don't know? Keep it with you. Just make sure you keep it with you. I mean, it does, it does make me feel like it's someone connected to academics. Sometimes also when I see that, it could be someone who rode a bus or drove a bus or a crossing guard, something connected to school. That's why they give me the alphabet to bring me to academics. But there's, and, and also again, it could be someone who years ago was a teacher. And even if it was short lived, you know, even an assistant teacher, it's just a way that spirit's giving that um, as a validation. And there's also, v- who's Vicky or Vinny or, or who's the V connected? I do know Vinny. Um, how is he connected to you? Yeah, and, and it's just, you know, the teaching must be a, a part of Vinny. Vinny must be connected to a teacher or somebody that worked in school, either crossed or, or living. So just make sure you, you keep that with you. You have a brother? Oh, didn't, didn't I just say the birthday or the anniversary, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. So know that Vinny's, Vinny's loved ones are coming through also. And there's a connection with uh, um, a teacher. So just make sure there's a, a, a mom figure or a mother figure around Vinny. So I don't know if, my, if Vinny's mom is crossed or still here. So it's either a mom or a, a grandmother. And it's just when your grandfather steps forward, it's just a way to say she, he knows who's around your circle. And, and a lot of times, Denise, they want to validate people that they know are a good support system for you. It sounds like obviously he is. And so um, where, and is Vinny's last name with a D? Where's the D with Vinny? And is, there's a D connected to Vinny, too. That's what they just told me. So when I was asking you about who the D, besides Denise is, they were just giving that to, to um, Vinny. So ask him about the teaching and the D name, and it's just a way that, you know, you can just give a message to Vinny also through you, Denise. How? How <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. Well, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you with that, and lots of love, Denise. Thank you for calling. Well, I love that too, Denise, for you saying that. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. You do that. All right, listen, you have a, have, have a great night, okay? Lots of love. And we'll be right back. I think. Okay, hold on. You come, come closer. So this is a special request uh, from... Susan McDermott. Susan McDermott? Yes. So, as I'm talking about getting better, she wants me to sing, Get well, get well soon, we want you to get well. Get well, get well soon, we want you to get well. Happy birthday to you. Get well. <laughs> I hope you got it. Bye. <laughs> look, look what we do for people. Look. So, Susan... And I have been in, in her family, her sister Pat, and we have been. We have no issues with that. I don't have any. So issues. so Susan, I met Susan back in high school. We used to go to like like to uh, dances together, um, OLP dances, and because of course I was a, I, I love dancing, and got to meet Susan's sister Pat, as her mom uh, Dot. And Susan and I are huge Seinfeld fans. So every time Seinfeld's on, the two of us text like clips of something like, um, you know, I don't like, like this anything. thing. And here's what I'm doing with it when Elaine throws out the toupee. Or like that. these pretzels are making me <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> hey, Janice. Hey, Rosetta. How are you guys? No soup today. No, exactly. Yeah. No, no soup for you. No soup for you. Yeah, that's it. So, hey, Shauna, how are you? So, um, what was I saying? How about that How about dog, Susan? though? How about Denise's BC. dog, That's BC, awesome. and her and the dog's name was Bonnie, what was that, Bonnie Clay? Bonnie How, Can you imagine a dog gives me the, not only the first name, but both her names with the BC, Bonnie, Bonnie Clay? How wild is that, right? Right. Is that me? Yeah, this year. Don't worry about it. We're on a roll. We are, we are on a roll. roll. Exactly. So give us some hey, love, guys. Crystal. Some hearts, hearts. Crystal share. saying, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Share this, <laughs> um, this live so that we can spread the love. And um, oh, Crystal, thank you. Thank you, guys. I, I love doing. I mean, of course, I love reading for people. Get, you know, when people come through, but animals, as Helix and I are huge animal. Um, fans and advocates okay, and have three of our own and it's it's the best because if you're an animal person you know how that rips your heart when that day comes and they have to leave you so I love being able to give back um, to people that love right. animals my grandfather said if you don't like animals you're not a good person and I live by that so right right <laughs> I do huh. I'm not arguing that's what I live by and that's it get ready Welcome back to Through the Static. <coughs> I just said on Facebook Live, someone just complimented me on Bonnie Clyde and validating Bonnie Clyde. And I told them that my grandfather used to say, if you don't like animals, you're not a good person. And I never met him. This was through my mom, Grandpa Fred, right from Ireland. And I live and breathe by that. So I don't want to have any kind of 
responses that say that's not true because I believe it. So that's it. And I'm sticking to it. So let's go to the next caller. Uh, before we do, yes, you gentlemen sang a song for <laughs> all the nice Facebook people. And I really think you should share it. Okay, with ready? Your so, so this well, was we, a request. It was a request from, from somebody Su Susan who's a Seinfeld fanatic. Like fanatic, fanatic. Fanatic. Yes. So, Susan, if you're hearing, this is, and well, she, this is in response to. Um, well, she better because then she asked, requested you on be Facebook. Hearing, so we're going to we're gonna test you. Uh, this is in response to hearing the story about me getting well uh, so, with my back. Get well, get well soon, we want you to get well. Get well, get well soon, we want you to get well. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Get well. <laughs> So any Seinfeld fans out there know exactly what we're doing, where that song came from, and you know we we have to listen. If you put a request in, we've got to we've we, we've got to satisfy you, right? We now return you to your local program already in progress. <laughs> Let me go up to the callers. <laughs> now I've lost. Uh, Mark's all, all disheveled. Yes, I am. We'll get there. Hey, this is Stephen. Who's this? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That was the best. That was the best phone call I've ever got. <laughs> Who me? <laughs> oh, there okay. you go. See? All right. So, thank you for the call and your reading. Next. Okay. So, so this is Marissa, right? Okay, Marissa. So let me let me tune in. Um, you know, when it comes to the end of the day, you you know I'm not giving up this Puerto Rican, right? You know what to do yeah, with that. Uh, part after of after um, next month is twenty seven years. It's yeah, it's been a long time. Okay, so let me. Why thank you. So Marissa, let me let me um tune in here. Um, so so Marissa, the, the grandma, a grandmother just came flying in, and uh, I you know it's interesting. So is are, are both grandmothers crossed? So, so only one is passed. One grandmother still. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I get, when I ask, I ask that because when the grandmother stepped forward, usually I can feel if they on left of me, their mom's side, right of as father's side, but they sort of came like it. She came in like at the same time, and it almost made me feel like I've got both grandmothers. So I. So let me just stick with the. There's a grandmother that steps forward, but there's there's. Um, Okay, there's also a, like a father figure, so I don't know if this is dad or grand, grandfather, but there's a father there's a father figure stepping forward and keeps talking about a, a ring. Um, Marissa, do, do you remember either you or somebody connected to you, um, something changing or happening with the ring, like either losing a ring or a ring not getting to the particular person or the ring being changed by any chance? Wait a minute, so she, oh, so this is, oh, I love it. So this is, wait a minute, so your father lost his ring in the backyard? Yes. Wow, Marissa, I love, did anyone ever find it? Wow. Wow. I, I, how amazing is it that your dad steps forward and gives you a validation immediately that you're going to know it's him and just to make sure you, you do know it's him and just keeps giving you um, uh, uh, hugs. He, you know, when I get the symbol of a lot of roses, it's just that he's just wants to make sure that I tell you how much he loves you. However, there's also something with rose, rose, roses connected to you that he's giving me. Your grandmother's name? Wow. Oh, my God, Marissa. So now that, that grandma and dad are both stepping forward in, um, let me see what your father's saying. Did, did somebody connected to you do dancing? Why, why, why am I? At first, I thought your father said line dancing. Did, I mean, did you ever go line dancing? Um, I may have to hang out with you because if you don't remember, you went line dancing, you must party really good. <laughs> 
So, so let me let me let me back up, Marissa. So, if you know, it doesn't have to be line dancing, but why is your father talking about dancing? Like when you were a, a, a little girl, I mean, there was no no dancing or. or Oh, there it is. So it's just, it's a great way, to, Marissa, to, to let you know that it's dad's bringing up these beautiful memories. And Elizabeth, or the E name, Ed, Elizabeth, who's the E? And this is your great grandmother? Oh my God, I, I love when great, great grandparents come through. So, so how cool is this, Marissa, that your great grandmother, Elizabeth, is stepping forward too? She just, to, she just told me that, um, I don't know, like, she just said that she, she, she loves this because it's a way, and I don't know if she's, she's ever come through, like if you've ever been to any other mediums, but she's just saying she's, she's all excited about this, that she's here and, and to let you know that, that, that it's really her. Um, Ice, I don't know where she's going with this. Ice. Did, did I, I don't, I don't even, I've never had that just given to me in a reading, Marissa. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm asking her to give me more. Did, do you remember anything with someone slipping or falling? Uh, someone passed or someone here? Either, either. By falling? Yeah. Um, so just know that it's dad. You know, I just asked your grandmother and your dad. I'm like, why are you showing me? They're making me look at Elix's, um, He's got this huge thing of water and there's a lot of ice. And I said, why are you making me look at ice? But they showed me someone slipping and falling. It doesn't mean it had to be on ice, but it's just a way, uh, Marissa, that you know your loved ones, your dad and everybody else are letting you know that they know what happened to your mom last year. And that um, your father just said to me though, that it could have been way worse than what it was. So I don't know if what he's talking about, like, like something could have been broken in many places. All I can tell you is that he's just saying that he helped to make sure that it didn't get as bad um, as it could have been. It's a, it's a really a, a great thing. And what's with the car, Marissa? Why does he talk about the car? He, he, he talks about, it, it almost makes me feel like too, like this tags someone with registration or inspection or something that he's, he's or license plate. Like, um, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Oh, that's what it is. So I was wondering why he was talking about like the specifics of it um, with the with the registration or the tag. So if you didn't know that your dad's watching and protecting every step of the way, Marissa, now you do. So, <laughs> oh, oh, my God, is he ever there? And he says so, that you keep him very busy um, taking care of you. So he's like, it's not easy with this one. So he's <laughs> just giving in, in, a, in a beautiful most, most loving way. So, Marissa, I'm going to leave you with that. Listen, thank you so much for calling. All right. I'm, I'm in. I'm so in. All right. Lots of love, Marissa. Okay. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Steven. Who's this? Hello. Hi, who's this? Gidget. How are you? I'm doing well, too. I... Uh, I I know I sound repetitive how I always say every time I see you on Facebook Live, I love your name, I love your name, I love Gidget. So um, so let me um, see what's going on, Gidget. Um, okay, so Gidget is, I, I, I honestly can't remember because I almost feel like we may have talked about this or you told me, but is Gidget a nickname or your real name? Yeah. It's a nickname. Okay, so above and beyond that, you, someone just stepped forward for you and said that a name changed. Um, somebody changed, a, someone changed a name, and I don't know what they're talking about. Like, I, I, I don't know if like someone was married and then got divorced and went back to the maiden name, but there's a, a name change, um, or somebody changed their name legally or, and it's not, obviously it's not you, even though that's a nickname, it's above and beyond that so um did, you, did um it, it, it makes me feel like they're, they're giving a reference to a woman who goes back to her maiden name the name switches back okay um so she was married to okay and when obviously they got divorced she went back to her maiden name 
Okay, but do you still have a relationship with her? Okay, I got it. Um, so when I talk about this, where is where's the young male come in? Cross, crossed. Some so in, and it doesn't have to be. When I say young male, it doesn't have to be um, kids. It's like you know, five years old. But this, this, it's it's not. It's it, there's a young male standing next to you, and uh, he, you know, young twenties, thirties, forties, fifties. There's somebody standing right. Right. Where's who's Richard or Robert or Ryan? Who's the R connected here to you? Your late ex-father-in-law. Um, do you know how old he was when he crossed? He was 63 oh. or 64. There, it's him. It's definitely him. You know, to me, in the 60s, when I say young male, it's just, it, it, it's a way to say um, the age is, is, you don't expect the person to cross at that age. And in the 60s, you don't expect people to cross. So just, you got to know that, you said his name is Robert? So know that Robin is stepping forward and also just said to me that she would have never guessed it would have been me stepping forward here. Um, yeah, and, and he, he's um, and he's laughing, but he he wants to make sure, um, Gidget, you know that he's he's always around you. He's always with you. And he just showed me that he uses wings to, to he said, you're very connected to wings, birds, butterflies, dragonflies, because he just made me look up in the sky and all birds flew by. So... When I see that, it's that birds, spirit can use birds or anything with wings to um, sort of, you know, fly near you or you seeing a cardinal. I mean, I know cardinals are kind of like a common thing, but why do I have wings on me? Do, 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 you, do you have, like, do you like butterflies? Do you like dragonflies? What's the wings connected to you? No, I mean, I, I love that. And I know that that's part of the validation, but there's wings. Um, who's who has like angel wings or something, something with wings and it feels like it's a tattoo or someone carries something with wings. Tell me. So tell me, t I got to hear this. <laughs> I don't what is that? What is the, what does that mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Your secret's safe with us. Wow. I, I love this. I, I love it. I get you. I love the fact that, you know, you're, you're, um, and he just said to me, don't say X father-in-law steps forward and you know, he protects you. And the fact that, you know, I mean, he kept saying to me, there's wings on me. Just say it, just say it. She'll get it. And I, I, I honestly just, that's why I said it. So, and it, it, wow. Wow. I mean, if, Yeah, well, 
I was going to say, Gidget, you, and I was just about to say to you, you've got the biggest guardian angel that I think I've ever seen around somebody in, in, in your, your father-in-law. And um, not only is just him saying thank you for everything you did, I mean, what you just told me, but the fact that it all, for him, he was very, he's very selfless and he just wanted to give something to you, like the tattoo, to really make sure you get that it's really him, he's with you, how much he loves you, and that he does protect you. He's, he's got such a beautiful heart, um, Gidget. Oh, Gidget, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And he also just said to me that um, give him credit for you getting through because people always have a lot of hard times getting through these lines. And your um, father-in-law just said, please tell, please tell Gidget that I made sure she got through. So she needed today to hear from me. So you got through and I love it. And we're going to take a break. So I'm going to say lots of love to you, Gidget. And thank you so much for calling. Alrighty, we'll 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 uh, we'll be back. I sounded like Porky Pig. We'll, 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 we'll be back. Well, that one kind of caught you off. Yeah, it did. No, you know why? Because I was still talking to her father-in-law. Was still chatting with me. So, Gidget, if you're on here, which you usually are on Facebook Live, um, your father-in-law just kept chat. He wants to keep talking. So, um, so what's going on here, Alberta? My mom passed away. We buried her yesterday. Oh, my God, Alberta. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, Alberta, when when someone asks me that, it's always uh, a very easy answer for me because there's I've never done this and had someone who's crossed over to say that they're not fine. Uh, they're always so happy and so at peace. And um, the only sadness they have is... is the fact that they had to leave you and the fact that they know how badly your hearts are crushed and that's that's what it's about so to answer that question um she's she's very fine um wow and crystal thank you i love the wow and wow right it's good hey carolyn cops Ash ashley you're late he looks ashley's here she's late like She's, she's Are you gonna busy get... with Billy, Ashley, and we don't know anything about this? We're going to have to reprimand Ashley. No, you know what? We need Ashley. We need a night to go out for drinks. That's what we need. Seriously. Um, hey, Jean, how are you? And Stacy, how are you also? You're going to have about 10 minutes left. 10 minutes to get through two calls. Um, I love this. Seeing Crystal, oh, my God. Marissa, your daddy. Oh, my God. This just makes me so happy. Hey, Mark. How are you? Uh, Colleen, how are you too? Uh, Ava, Mira, Prima is in the house. Ava, I hope you're already starting to um, plan your next trip up here. Because we're, we're waiting. Um, Janice, that is so sweet. Janice, we all need to get together, too. Um, in the last 10 minutes. All right. Music, so the show's on. It goes too fast. And welcome back to Through the Static. So let me just go to the calls right away. This is... Hello, this is Steven. Who's this? Hi. Hi. Hi, Denise. How are you? I'm good, too. So thank you for calling. And let's see um, what's going on with you, Denise. Um, Denise, there's something, something written... Um, what are they showing me? There's a, there's a young, a young male, um, who crossed and he keeps pointing to you. I think it's to you. Well, it's someone connected to you. And, um, are, are, are you, are you, um, are you changing something or are you 
um, learning something or did, are you moving? I, there's a document that this young male, it, it, f it feels like a cousin or a brother that keeps showing me, or a brother-in-law that keeps showing me um, writing and I just don't know what it was. So let me start with this. Is this, is this a brother-in-law, cousin, brother? Who is this connected? It's, it's, this is someone who's passed. There's, it, it feel, and it could be a friend, um, because sometimes, you know, someone, you know, that, that was in, in your circle or so that, that may step forward, and even though they weren't biologically or blood connected, they may just say a, a, a brother, um, uh, I'm asking him to give me, there's also a father, is your, is your dad crossed? Okay, so it's going to be a, a, either a, is there a father-in-law who's crossed? Oh, so, you know, I almost went to grandfather, but they stopped me and brought me, kept me at the father generation. So it's, it's definitely your father-in-law stepping forward. Um, when, like, do you know, um, remember how old he was when he crossed? Uh, eight or nine. So that's definitely not him because this is a young male who's stepping forward. So make sure you just keep it with you. Um, how, how, who's in healthcare connected to you? Who, who, I, I get, I get hospital or doctor or there's someone, someone connected healthcare. That's what I keep getting. The only other time I get the H, which I don't get it a lot, is if there's someone like Helen or Harry or a name with an H. So either, either one of those two. Um, nobody is in real estate connected to you, Denise? Oh, so it's definitely her then. Who who is she? How is she connected to you? Okay, so just know Auntie Helen just just wants to let you know that it's really her. Um, and she, oh, I oh the H, I get it, I get. All right, perfect. So know that that um, honey is here, and she wants to let you know. Um, was there something, Denise, that you remember with? So was this mom's side or dad's side? Was there something? with some legal document that happened in the family that was something going on with the legal document, like um, like like getting certain things or selling of a house or something. There's something that they're giving me. And and, and it the, the writing in is feels like it's a, a legal some kind of legal thing. So and you didn't just move or planning on moving? Okay, um, unless it's someone connected to you, but make sure you just keep it with you because there's also a mother figure who steps forward. So is this mom or is this a grandmother? Okay, so they, she also just told me about birthday anniversary. Something's really close, connected to you. Two weeks back, two weeks forward, could be anniversary of death. Make sure you, you hang on to that because they want to validate that. There's something going on. Um, and there's also some kind of graduation or celebration or something coming up, connected to you. So it could be family that, you know, June, May, something's happening or coming up. So, um, and we, what's in July? What's seven? July, birthday, anniversary? Of course, Denise, they want to give that all validations to let you know they know exactly what's going on. The legal piece, they're yelling at me. I don't know what this is. It almost makes me feel like there was, there was, there was conflict about selling something or getting some, something. Like, so, oh, that's exactly what she's talking about, Denise. So it's just a wonderful way to let you know, not necessarily about the validation, but just to let you know that they're, they're watching you and they're with you. So I'm going to leave you with that, Denise. Thank you so much, okay? All right, lots of love, Denise. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Steve. Mark has sticky fingers today. Um, hi, this is, this is Steven. <laughs> Who's this? Hello? What, what is the name? Maureen. Maureen. How are you, Maureen? Okay. Oh, I'm okay, Maureen. Um, so let me see what's going on with Miss Maureen. Um, so Maureen. Oh, wow. There, there's a lot going on here. Um, so Maureen, a grandmother just stepped forward, um, 
But she also gave me my sign or symbol for there was a recent crossing, a recent passing. Yeah. So you understand that? Yeah. But it wasn't her, correct? Correct. Yeah. So she's, she, you're, um, is this mom's mom? She comes from the left. Yeah, so, you know, they, they, they'll they tell me what side. I always like to know what side, whether it's your mom's mom or dad's mom. Um, and, yes, but this one, the one I'm, I'm ta that's talking to me or talking to you is mom's mom because she comes from the left side. So she's just giving that. Um, Maureen, is there migraines or did someone cross or some issue with the brain, like a brain tumor or aneurysm? My head is exploding right now. This is mom's mom? Yeah. Wow, so just it's just a, a way, nice way to let you know it's really her and she's stepping forward. Is the recent crossing a guy? Yeah. Okay. Um, he's here and he's really close to you, correct? Yeah. Um, he is, I mean, is this, is this, is this a, a da dad? Who is this? My dad. Oh my God, I thought it was your dad. Um, he's so happy to get to do this, Maureen. And just, he keeps, um, um, just, he just keeps giving hugs and love and, and knows what this is like. Um, and this was really recent, right? Wow. So no, it's, that's recent. You know, when I say really recent, I mean within the, the last year or so, um, he just has to, you have to make sure Maureen, you know, that, that he's still with you and, and he walks with you and is, he just, he's got a beautiful sense of humor. Um, and just, and just, yeah, he does. And he just said to me that you've got to tell, uh, I, uh, what's the, what's the one? I, are you like the baby, the only girl? What's the, the what's the one he keeps giving me for you? Are you in January, the first of the month? He keeps saying one. Someone have one kid, what, one child? What is your father talking about? When I get, when I get one, it's either generally it's either like there's only one girl or the oldest. Um, I think I said baby, and I didn't mean to say baby. I meant to say the say the oldest. Um, or January, something happened like birthday anniversary in January or the first of the month. Maureen, so just make sure you hang on to it because um, he just gave me my symbol for that you know. So, um, uh, and he keeps telling me, um, are you doing something for him? Why, why does he... Well, why does he say like 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 sometimes when someone's planning maybe to get a tattoo in memory of him or or there's a or someone is planning to do something or maybe like just do something with ashes he keeps telling me something is planned for him or something's happening maybe a memorial do you know anybody who's doing something in 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 um for your dad all right just who's John or Jim Jan who's the ja? The only other time I get this is if it's a junior. Is there a junior? Perfect. So it's just a, a nice way to let you know that he's giving a validation to your son. Did your son do something for your your father, his grandfather? Did he draw something or write something or did they do something specific for him? No. Somebody... Somebody, did you only have one child? Yeah. So just make sure, Maureen, you keep this with you. Because if he's bringing me to your kids, somebody did something. Like a card or something in re something for your dad or for, for somebody. So just make sure you keep that with you. Because if he's giving it to me, Maureen, it's a, it's a validation that he wants to, to... And there's a piece of jewelry your father talks about too. I don't know what it is. But there's either something that was handed down or somebody has or there was something in reference to a ring or a, a, a pendant. So make sure you keep that with you too, okay? okay my brother is a junior. Oh, it's your, it's your brother. Oh, okay, I got it. So it's just a way that you're it's making sure you know it's really dad. I'll tell you something, Maureen. Your father just said to me um, at nighttime... He's with you. He's with you 24-7, but at nighttime, it's just to, to, to help you 
get rid of these sad thoughts. He's a beautiful father, Maureen. Oh my God, and, lo and loves you so, so much and knows how much um, you're hurting. I don't know if someone went to Ireland, England. I don't know what this is, but I feel there. So, or there's a, someone connected there. So just make sure you also keep that with you. And, you know, unfortunately I'm out of time. So I'm going to leave you with that, um, Maureen. But make sure to listen to this. Go to, eventually when this is uploaded, I put this on my YouTube channel so you can re-listen to this, okay? Okay. Sure. Oh my God. Oh, Maureen, I'm so glad you validated that. There's a double validation for the ring to your brother and such an amazing celebration um, that he's giving and everybody else is with your um, um, engagement. So happy engagement and congratulations, Maureen. Listen, lots of love, okay? All righty, bye-bye. So we're out of time. Uh, just to um, quickly say that Sunday, my event, there's still some tickets open. Go to Steve in the Medium and you can, uh, or my website. Um, um, I, what, can, can I finish this one? This, this guy just pushes and pushes me. So this Sunday, the Puerto Rican, two to four at the Saugus Everett Elks. And on Facebook Live, I show the envelope. I give notes that are actually written by me, but really dictated by your loved ones. And then April 24th in the Crown Plaza in Warwick, that's going to be a fantastic. Tickets are selling so quickly for that. It's going to be myself and John LaCrosse. Go to my website or Facebook page to see all of that info. And we will see you next week. So bye-bye, Elix. Yes. Coach Elix? Find me, Coach Elix, on Instagram, Facebook, and my website. And on behalf of our third member uh -huh. of the show, Maki Mak, bye bye. See you guys. <laughs>